In this video, we will learn to proofread using cups to check our capitalization, understanding, punctuation, and spelling. Today, we are tackling page six in your Sit and Spelling and Word Skills Practice book. We are proofreading for spelling or capitalization errors in these sentences. We have to be kind of like detectives to spot the errors, and we're going to circle the problems that we find and then think through how to correct the sentences. We're going to write the words correctly on each of the lines. So let's get started. We'll do the first few together. There was only one piece of pizza left, and both the children wanted it all. Okay, so on that first line, where is the error? Do you see it? There. Remember our there, there, and there video? Yeah, T-H-E-I-R means it shows ownership. And in this sentence, there is not being used like that. It's being used as the beginning word of the sentence. And when we start sentences with the word there, it needs to be the T-H-E-R-E -E word. Now let's look at the second line. Be the detective and try to find the error before me. It's the word children. Read what was written there closely. It reads children. What two letters are out of order? Yeah, flip the E and the R around to write children. Awesome, you're a cool cat. What do you see the third line? What do you see in the third line? She told the kids there would be a race. And it's another weird spelling error. Can you find it? Told. The way it's spelled now looks similar to the way we spell toll, like driving on a toll road, not the speaking word that we need in this sentence. That would be told, T-O-L-D. That's the speaking word. Line four has an error in it with the word whose. Do you know why? Because who apostrophe S means the two words who is smushed together as a contraction. Does that make sense in our sentence? Let's try who is out to see. The child who is bicycle crossed the finish line. No, that makes no sense. We need the other who's. W-H-O-S-E. Let's read this next sentence to figure out what error there might be in line five. Reading sentences aloud to yourself is a great proofreading strategy to find those errors more easily. The child whose bicycle crossed the finish line last would get all the pizza and would not have to share even one bite. Okay, did you see it in line five? It's a capitalization problem. Should bicycle be capitalized here? No, it's not a proper noun and it's not a certain brand of bike. So that should be a lower cased word in this sentence, bicycle. All right, look at line six. What's wrong with it? <laughs> Here's a hint, two and two. T-O-O -O means also, or as well, or additionally. See the way to remember it? I want dessert too. Two S's in the word dessert and two O's because you really want it. Two. We don't have that situation going on in this sentence in line six. Look at its context. This two is the preposition and it means to go share. So they would not have to go share even one bite. That would make more sense. Can you find the problem on your own for line seven? Here's a hint. <laughs> Is that the correct there? No. T-H-E-R-E -E is the over there meaning. It refers to a place. Look at the sentence in line seven. The kids mounted their own bikes. The kids own the bikes. It shows possession. It shows ownership. The sentence makes it clear that the word we need here is T-H-E-I-R that shows the ownership there. What's wrong in line, line eight? Proofreading detective that you are, beat me to it. They began to ride, but slowly they couldn't keep their bikes upright. Yep, spelling problem. How do you spell began? B-E-G-A-N. No extra N on the the end needed. What's wrong in line nine? Here's your hint again. Hopefully you're getting quicker at picking the wrong theirs out. Look at the context of the sentence. But so slowly they couldn't keep their bikes upright. T-H-E-R-E -E means over there or the beginning of the sentence there. The T-H-E-I-R word is what we need because it's their bikes. They own the bikes again. 
Now you fix number 10 on your own because it's basically the same problem. Now I want you to use some, the same proofreading skills we've been using to find the rest of the errors in these sentences, just like we've been doing together to finish the rest of page six. You do not need to complete the activity at the bottom unless you really want to.